What's up bitches, it's Shelly, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, what's up, I'm Shelly, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you step by step how to get this music festival makeup look. I created it specifically for Lost Lands 2018 because Lost Lands, as you guys know it, is this weekend, it's coming up, so this is for you last minute bitches. But of course, before I show you how to do this makeup look, don't forget to click subscribe right down below, turn on post notifications so you don't miss any more of my videos related to music videos and or raves. And if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. So with all of that self promo out of the way, let's go get into how to do this Lost Lands Music Festival makeup look. For my look, I'm going to be using my Morphe 15D Day Slayer palette and my BH Cosmetic 120 color palette in the 4th edition. You guys don't need these specific palettes. As long as you have similar vibe colors, you can do this look. So the first step is to prep your lids because you know you want these colors to be popping, you want them to be vibrant, you also want your look to stay on all day. So I'm going to be using my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. It's a nice white sticky base so this is really going to help the colors pop but since it's got that nice sticky texture the colors are going to stick to the lid and they ain't gonna f***ing move. The first color I'm going to use is Natural from my Morphe palette. It's a nice soft warm toned brown and I'm going to use my brush to apply that just above the crease in somewhat of a wing shape because this is going to be a cut crease look. Next, I'm going to be using this small blending brush to apply the color editor from my Morphe palette to my crease area right underneath the first color and I'm going to remember to keep building this shape. Boom. So I am now finished applying my prehistoric dirt inspired browns to my crease, but as you guys can see, it got slightly muddy in that whole process. So I'm going to go ahead and clean that up using a concealer brush and whatever thin concealer you guys use. I'm going to start with the bulk of my lid and then I'm going to shape the cut crease later. All right, so now that my crease is cut and my lids are clean, I'm gonna move on to the colors. I'm gonna use a flat shader brush and I'm gonna use this kind of bronze gold and I'm gonna apply that to the first inner one third of my eyelids. So now I'm gonna move into my green colors and I'm gonna use this small shader brush and I'm gonna pick up a nice mid-tone green with some gold reflex in it and I'm gonna apply that just to the center part of my lid. I'm going to finish off my lid with a deeper tone green that's more of an army green versus an olive green. Don't worry about blending yet. We will get this thing looking snatched in a second. We just have to apply all the colors. Alright, so now that I've successfully accomplished making myself look like a circus dinosaur, we can move on to the next step. So this looks awful. So obviously we need to blend. So I am just going to pull from the center and just blend this inner green outward. To kind of blend those together and you can already see that it's looking so much better it's really that easy now to blend out the inner part I'm gonna go back in with the flat shader brush that I use to apply this bronze color and I'm gonna start from this inner part and I'm gonna just pull it lightly into this green Okay, so I finished doing my upper lid shadows. I'm now gonna move on to the lower lid. I'm gonna use a small smudger brush like this, and I'm gonna use this bronze copper color, gold color that we use for the inner corner, and I'm just going to smudge that all along the lower lash line. Now, I'm also gonna take the gold and I'm going to drag it underneath this green here. All right, so now my eyeshadow is done, I'm gonna move into my liquid liner. I'm just going to line my upper lash line and then wing it out Following the shape of this entire look, I want to separate the green and the gold with my liner. So now I'm just going to finish off the look with some mascara. I like to use a lash primer. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Primer. Okay guys, so I finished off my mascara. I applied that to my upper and lower lashes. I also applied a set of false lashes because this is a music festival. We want to be dramatic. Now I'm going to finish off my face. I'm going to do that off camera because it's just my standard foundation routine. You guys probably have your own. So go ahead and do that and then we'll come back to do the fun part, which is going to make this whole thing really music festival-y. Now I'm going to move into my lips, which is typically the last thing that I do when I'm getting ready for a music festival because when I'm getting ready, I'm typically also pre-gaming and you know, you want to keep your lips as fresh as possible and if I were to get completely ready pregame and then go to the music festival I just wouldn't have enough time the music festival would be over anyway so I'm using the NYX lip lingerie in the color ruffle trim this is just a nice nude for me so I suggest using your guys's perfect nude if you're gonna do this look also I will say I do highly suggest using a nice stay in place lip liner or lip 
liquid lip when you're going to a music festival. Because we all know you bitches are going to be drinking and you want your lips to stay on. So a gloss and a creamy lipstick just ain't going to f***ing cut it. Now it's really time to take this average cut crease look to a festival look. First I'm going to decorate my lip. I'm going to take my black liquid liner and I'm just going to do a line down the center of my lip. Step one, done. Or you can actually put a fake lip ring, that would be cute too. If you guys have face gems, feel free to put your face gems wherever you want on this look. However, I typically tend to stray away from face gems, but I do like to use glitter because these are like $2 for a pack of a billion glitters. And I'm gonna do some glitter freckles across my little freckly nose area. I just use eyelash glue to stick them to my face. Eyelash glue does work pretty well. You guys can also use spirit gum or a glitter primer or wig glue, maybe real glue, Gorilla Glue, f it, super glue. I individually place each piece of glitter with my tweezers and my glue. So I just take my glue and I put it on the back of my hand like this. I pick up a glitter with my tweezers like this. I slightly dip it into the glue like that. And then I just put it somewhere on my face where I feel like it belongs. Like that. All right guys, well there you have it, glitter freckles. This is one of my favorite go-to looks for music festivals because it's very lightweight, it's super easy, it's really fast to do. Um, as you can see, I don't even really feel it on my face right now, but if you guys are more into those gems or if you have different types of glitter that you prefer, feel free to just use my look of the eyeshadow as a base and then create whatever else you would like to. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. I hope you like this look and I hope it was helpful for those of you who don't have a look planned out just yet or for any other music festival really. If you are going to Lost Lands 2018, I hope you have a good time. I'm sorry I won't be there. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, share, let me know in the comment section down below. I think I'm done with this intro. I think I'm outro now. I'm going crazy. Just like always, until next time, bye bitch.